Welcome back to another episode of Owl of Asia. In today's video, we're looking at investing in the Philippine stock market. We're not going to talk about any stocks in particular, but what we're going to talk about is the most important questions, and that is how much you need to invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange, how do you get started, what requirements will you need to meet, and a few other important areas. So the first question you may have as an investor is can you invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange? Yes, it's possible for foreign to invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC of the Philippines, has put slight restrictions on foreign investment. The main restriction being that a foreigner cannot own more than 40% of the shares of a company in the Philippines. How can you start trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange? Well, the first thing you'll need is a stock trading account. Some mainstream banks in the Philippines offer a service through their platform that allows you to invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Alternatively, you can invest through a stock trading account such as COL Financial. Out of all the stock trading accounts in the Philippines, I believe that COL Financial are the best for foreigners who are investing in the Philippine stock market because everything is run on the online platform. You can buy, research and even sell stocks in the comfort of your own home. As you can see, there are certain requirements for setting up an account with COL Financial. And there are also many different ways how you can fund your account. You can sign up online or you can contact them directly for more information. So how much capital do you need in order to invest? There are two different areas to consider. The first area is how much money you will need in order to open up a stock broking account. And the second area is how much you're going to need in order to invest in a particular stock. So the first area is the stockbroker account. As we mentioned COL Financial, we will use them again as an example. To open up an account with COL Financial, you will only need 1,000 pesos. But the next area was the stock itself. Each stock has a board lot. In the most straightforward way, if a company has a minimum board lot of 100, then you will need to buy 100 shares in order to invest in that company. So let's take a look at Jollibee. Jollibee is perhaps one of the most popular blue chip stocks in the Philippines. Let's say their price is currently at 218 pesos. However, their board lot is 10. So if you want to be an investor in Jollibee, you would need to purchase 10 stock at a price of 218 pesos totaling 2,180 pesos. When looking at particular stock in the Philippines, there are lots of information, but two of the most important areas is one, the board lot, which we just mentioned, and two, whether it's open or closed to foreigners. So what about the thing that we all love to hate? Taxation. Does a foreigner need to pay tax when investing in the Philippine stock market? Well, one of the reasons we previously mentioned COL Financial is because they take care of a lot of tax implications for you. When you sell your stocks, you can then see your fees and any tax before you sell. So that's already taken care of. But of course, depending on the country you're living in and registered in, you may need to also pay some additional tax, such as capital gains tax. So the most important question is, should you invest? Well, unfortunately, I cannot say yes or no. I can only give you the facts. And that is that the Philippines is a developing country. So there are many different industries and opportunities for business. And historically speaking, there has been many different types of companies in the Philippine Stock Exchange that have seen phenomenal growth over the last 10 years. I remember two years ago when I went to a seminar about the stock exchange in the Philippines. And as someone who was very interested in stocks and real estate in the Philippines. They showed me the market over a 10 year period. Based on the statistics and the data, me and the audience learned that if we put our money in the developers who are building these condominiums instead of the condo itself, then we would have made more profit. Of course, this doesn't always happen, but it's a great example that there is certainly growth in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Al of Asia always recommends speaking to professionals, doing your own research, and of course, not investing any money that you can afford to lose. 